I've made quite a few videos where I have tested the resolution of the DJI Mini 2 4K versus 2.7K versus 1080p and in all of those videos I have flown a route three times manually as close and getting each flight to be as close as I possibly can. A lot of people have moaned and complained about that. <laughs> people have moaned and complained about anything. I'm going to be doing the same again today but with a slight difference. I have used Litchi to set up a waypoint mission with Lassie, my DJI Mini 2, and I'm going to be sending her out on that mission three times. 4K, 2.7K and 1080p. And that way, we'll have an identical comparison to look at. Now, the only thing I didn't take into consideration when I was planning the route of this mission was the trees behind me are substantially taller than they were on the map that I used to plan the mission. So, I'm going to have to be very careful and watch that she doesn't fly into any of those big trees. So, I may abort this mission even before it starts, so <laughs> let's see how it goes. So although it's very bright today, it's extremely cold and it's quite a wind that's blowing. So let's hope that Lassie manages to cope with that under the Litchie Waypoint mission fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire up Litchie. And I'm going to open up the Waypoint mission that I created at home and that was the Dark Skies Resolution Mission 5. There's the mission right there. So I'll open up the camera settings and I'll set the video settings at 4K. I'm going to start recording now. So there's the recording started. So off she goes. And now she'll fly to the first waypoint, and I'm going to be very careful watching her here to make sure that she doesn't crash into those trees, which are a lot taller than they were when I first, when I created the mission. But off she goes. So she's at waypoint one now, heading towards waypoint two. And I've set her to fly at 30 metres above the ground level. So it looks like she's going to clear those trees. <laughs> Says he with his fingers crossed. Ah, she's well above the trees, so no problem there. And this isn't a, 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 a mission where she'll be going far out. I can maintain a visual line of sight all the way here. And she's flying over the site where the Dark Sky Observatory used to be before it was burned down. I have a video that I, I took flying around the observatory before it was burned down and then a couple of weeks later after it had burned down I went back out and I flew around it again. I'll link those in the description and I'll leave a link at the very end of this video to those videos too. And there's the gimbal has automatically moved down and she's rotating just the way I programmed and set her up when I was creating the Litchie mission. So it's it seems to be working out quite well. She has avoided the the trees. And I set the, the site of the Dark Sky Observatory as a point of interest so that as she flew around I could get her to automatically focus on that area and then when she's finished her fly around that, 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 that spot where the observatory used to be she'll return and she'll, she'll look towards me.
So as she comes back to the fin to the home point, to the launch point, our mission will end just there. And what I'll do now is I'll stop the recording and I'll change the resolution to 2.7K. Recording stopped. And then I'll set her off Recording started. on the mission again. And I'll put my gloves on because my fingers are freezing. <laughs> For anyone who has never used a, a Litchie Waypoint mission before, I'll leave a link just up there where I created a video that took you through the whole process of how to do it on the computer at home and do a virtual fly around of the mission before, before coming out to the area and carrying out the mission. So you'll get that in that link just up there. So she heads back now, the 2.7K resolution this time. So again, as she reaches the final waypoint, the mission will end. So the mission is now ended and what she will do now is she will return to the start point, which is waypoint one, which is fairly close to the, the end point. So once again, I'm going to stop the recording. Recording stopped. And I'm going to change the resolution. And this time, I'm going to set to 1080p.
Start recording again. Recording started. And then I'm going to send it off. On the same mission for the final time at 1080p. Oh, it's so cold today. It's so cold. Off she goes. And there is an aircraft in the sky, but I think it's probably flying around about 30,000 feet. So I won't bother bringing Lassie down. <laughs> I hope the people on there are going somewhere nice and warm. Warmer than it is here. So as Lassie returns, having completed our third and final mission here today, and the battery life is still at 36%. So that's quite, quite a nice bit of time you get in a battery on a DJI Mini 2. And I've had Lassie for over two years now, and have run these batteries constantly. Still getting a good, good, bit, of, good bit of life out of them. So what I'll do is I'll bring her down now once she comes back to the final point. Our mission has ended again. This is back at the start point. So I'm now going to cancel the mission and I'm going to take full control of her and bring her down. Secret. 
secrets run to the brightest of one holding out their guns staring straight down the sun with the coldest have one they have one but I'm not And there she is. So hope you enjoyed that hen. Let's get you home into the heat. I did enjoy it, but I'm freezing my tits off. Recording stopped. So, by the time I'm saying this, you'll have watched the three different <laughs> flights or resolution and then seeing them all side by side and you'll be able to make a decision on how you want to fly your drones and what's going to give you the best results. The best results are going to be 4K, that's without a doubt, but it doesn't mean that you need to use 4K. 1080p is perfectly acceptable, particularly if people are going to be watching your videos on a phone or a small iPad. You might want to use 2.7 if they're going to be watching it on a monitor, a 4K monitor, or if you've got a great big TV, a 55 or a 65 or even bigger television that's good 4K, you really want to be recording in 4K. So the two videos that I was talking about earlier, the ones where I flew over the Dark Sky Laboratory where it was still here, and then two weeks later after it had been burned down by arson, I flew over it again. You can see those right here and right here 